Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 23rd December 2022. Starting with the High Courts. News highlights from Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court while directing GST department to return amount of rupees 1.80 crores along with 6% interest has observed that no recovery of tax should be made during search inspection or investigation unless it is voluntary. The High Court has held that moratorium granted by NCLAT after resolution process is initiated against it is akin to an order of moratorium passed under Section 14 of Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code. Thus, in view of moratorium issued by NCLAT, corporate debtor cannot be referred to arbitration. The High Court has held that dispute between parties under an agreement titled as non-binding term sheet can be referred to arbitration as the arbitration clause contained in the said agreement is binding between the parties. News highlights from the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has held that teaching experience of 10 years mentioned in the special rules in force for promotion for the post of professor is one that has to be gained after obtaining the basic PG qualification required for the post. The High Court has directed competent authorities of colleges and other statutory authorities to constitute an internal complaints committee for sexual harassment complaints in every college in the state under UGC regulations. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Bombay High Court while expressing urgent need for deterrent action against doctors failing to take up postings in malnutrition ridden tribal areas has observed that the policies of the state are benevolent and the only problem is the implementation. The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that letter of intent is only a formality for initiation of process and right to claim grant of lease and execution of formal lease deed would accrue to concerned person only if requisite formalities as envisaged under mining rules are completed the madhya pradesh high court while observing that merely because motive and enmity is not established appellant would not get any brownie points has held that a person can be convicted based on an authentic dying declaration of deceased even if prosecution is unable to establish any motive This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.